What's up everybody? Brian here with another episode of Frugal Footprint. It's a beautiful day here in Minnesota and it's an exciting day too because we are planting seeds in our raised beds. That's right, today we're going to be getting seeds in the ground. Today we're going to be planting kale, tomatoes, zucchini, beans, pea pods, basil, lettuce, spinach, cucumbers, onions, both yellow and white. We're going to go through these one by one and show you how to plant these from seed. When to plant in full sun, when to plant in partial shade. Certain plants like shade better, certain plants like sun better. And we'll talk more about that as we go along. If you want to know how to build a raised bed or how to prep the soil for a raised bed, check out the video links in the descriptions below. We got a lot to get through, so let's get going. So this is our full sun bed. It's right behind our shed. It gets really, really hot. We keep it watered quite a bit. In this bed, we're gonna do tomatoes, onions, and kale. A couple things to keep in mind is both tomatoes and onions, it's recommended to start inside ahead of time, but we didn't. So it's a little bit of an experiment. We're gonna see what happens, and you get to learn right along with us from our successes and failures. We have our onion spots marked off, yellow up front, white in back, four of each. Spacing is recommended around a foot to 18 inches row spacing. We're doing it a little bit closer just because it's a raised bed and we can get away with it. So here goes. Next up here we have kale, recommended quarter inch depth with 24 inch spacing. We're going to try and fit four of them in here. All set. Last on the line we have tomato. We're just gonna do one plant because in the past we've overdone it and they get way overgrown and they're hard to harvest. So we're just gonna do one tomato plant right on the edge. Hopefully this will be a nice happy medium. There you go. Next up we have some more onions. We love onions, so we're doing a whole bed. Again, we're gonna do yellow and white. Yellow up front, white in back. Recommended to start inside, but we are just gonna toss these seeds right in the ground and see what happens. We have our holes marked off. It's gonna be seven of each. All right, we are all set. Next up is zucchini squash. Mmm, mmm, delicious. So we have these two circular beds and we're just gonna do one plant in each. Couple seeds and then we'll thin them as they grow. Keep the healthier of the two plants. Here we go. Next up is calypso beans. So these are meant to be row plants. The seeds go about an inch deep and then it's also two inches apart. And we're only gonna do one row because they want 36 inches between rows, but this whole bed is gonna be beans. Beans are in the ground. Next up we have lettuces and spinach. This whole bed, just greens. Lettuce is in the ground. Okay, last but most certainly not least, we have basil, cucumbers, and peas. So we've had some pretty good luck in this bed before with doing basil on either side. We have deer, and deer apparently hate basil, but they love cucumbers and they also love peas. So we're gonna do two rows on either side, right down here, and then on the far side back there is gonna be two rows of basil. And then in between with the trellises, since both cucumbers and peas are vining, we'll do peas and cucumbers. While this is rolling, I wanna take a minute to talk about saving seeds. This is the first year we decided to save our pea pod seeds. 
and it's really easy. All you need to do, depending on how many you want to plant next year, you just let the pea pods dry out right on the vines. We saved right around a dozen or so pea pods, put them in a cool dry place all winter long, and then yesterday I cracked open these pea pods and took out the pea seeds themselves and soaked them in some water overnight to get the germination process started. And now we're ready to put them in the ground. Easy peasy. All right, and there we have it. Thanks for joining us once again. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to subscribe. Next up, I'm gonna build a potato box from a salvaged pallet. Watch for that video next.